We are now in 2023, which means it's finally the year we get to see the Mario movie, the first ever Nintendo film sorry, second ever Nintendo film that we're going to get, and I'm super excited to see what's to come after this. But of course, we have to talk about this movie a little bit more because there's some secrets that might be hidden from us and some details about the movie that Nintendo was just flat out hiding. Obviously, for good reason, they don't want to spoil the entire movie with cameos and secrets from their past games, but I think we'll be able to find a couple of secrets and cameos that they could be hiding from us today. We already see tons of references from past games already, and there's sure to be some secret ones and some leaked ones that I have to share with you guys today. But before we jump into that, make sure you stop what you're doing, bring it to a halt, leave a like, and subscribe to help us reach 200,000 subscribers. We are super close. You guys have been absolutely tearing it up lately. Thank you so much. And at 200k, it's sure to be a fun video for you all. So thank you so much. Let's jump into the Mario movie. So first off, I want to start by talking about some of the cameos and hidden references that already reference games that we know of so far throughout the trailers. And I think it's very obvious that lots of this movie is being pulled from Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World. There's lots of maps all over Toad Town that reference both of these games games maps, there's lots of items from Super Mario Bros. 3 and lots of enemies from Super Mario World, there's just lots of character and world building from these two games and it seems to be the premise and it makes sense because Super Mario World is Miyamoto's favorite game that he's made. And as far as the world itself, it has a lot of references to Nintendo's official theme park, which also references Mario 3D World. You can see by the hills and the platforms and the different floating blocks and items all over the place, it looks a lot like 3D World, where you're going up a giant hill. Everything just has that blocky look, and we even have enemies from Mario 3D World, such as the Bitty Buds as well. I mean, Mario Brothers 1 is kind of referenced throughout the entire movie because it's just kind of where Mario started, so I'm not even going to even talk about that. But you also have the fact that it references Donkey Kong, the original game game that Mario debuted in, where you have the Iron Girders where Donkey Kong is fighting Mario on, and you could also have his home world of Brooklyn where we get to see Pauline, which obviously debuted in that game as well, but you could also say Mario Odyssey because she's wearing the same outfit and everything in that game, so it just kind of references both, but we'll get into Odyssey in a second. Well, guess what? It's later and we're talking about Mario Odyssey already. We already talked about Pauline and her get up, but we could talk about Toad in his badges for the different kingdoms on his book bag, which references kingdoms from Super Mario Odyssey, like Toast Arena, and there's some others, but they're in a higher detailed version. I don't have that picture right now. But yeah, the Mario Odyssey Kingdoms are there, and we also even have the Crazy Cap Store, which obviously references that game as well, so Odyssey is being referenced even. Okay, I know this one's probably a stretch, but have you ever remembered seeing a Toad Town in any other game besides the Paper Mario series? So, like, even Paper Mario 64 could be the reference for Toad Town, because we've never really seen a Toad Village in any other Mario games. It just kind of makes sense that they would have pulled from the Mario RPG series with Paper Mario, right? Am I right? I mean, we even have Mario characters that have spin-off games already getting their own cameos like Yoshi's Island. We actually get to see Yoshi's Island full of different colored Yoshis running around. Shoot, even Donkey Kong Country is referenced because we have this new Monkey Island full of different Kong creatures. And we also have Donkey Kong, Cranky Kong, Diddy Kong, and Dixie Kong confirmed for this movie already. So I think it's safe to say that Donkey Kong Country might even get its own spin-off movie eventually. And a couple more from the Mario series, we even have the penguins from Mario 64 with their own kingdom this time around, obviously referencing Super Mario 64. You can even argue so as Princess Peach's castle even has the same little peach mural in the stained glass window that it does in 64. You can also see a lot of enemies from the new Super Mario Bros. series like the Bram Ball, the Spike Cheap Cheap, and even the Urchin. Not to mention that you can also see areas that looks like the beach theme from new Super Mario Bros. Oh yeah, there's also one scene where they're like literally staring at the rock candy mines from new Super Mario Bros. U, so I thought I'd throw that in there as well. You can also see fruit stands with very specific fruits like the grapes that match almost perfectly with the ones from Yoshi's story and not to mention there's some fruit also coming straight from Mario Sunshine including the watermelon design the pineapples and even a spicy pepper that you can barely see in the background and then of course we have the Mario Kart section where everybody's racing on their carts and even carts specific to Mario Kart so that one's clear as day. You could even take it further and be like, well, Barrel Blast is kind of referenced with some of the Kong's carts and stuff, but I'm not going that far. There's probably even more references that I'm missing, but this is the general gist. Well, that's already a lot of references that we talked about, and a lot of them, like I said, is probably some that I completely missed altogether. But even with that, that's only in the first couple of trailers, so this movie is bound to have tons of fun Easter eggs and references for us diehard Mario and Nintendo 
Nintendo fans. But even with that said, were there any other references that were kind of hidden that we really didn't talk about yet or kind of leaked by other means and other methods? Well, yes, there's actually two of them with two possible characters and world building aspects. There's actually a part of the trailer where we can peek through a doorway and see a poster hanging up on one of the shop walls. And if you'll notice, one of the stickers holding up the poster is a picture of a toad, and the other picture holding up the poster is a daisy symbol. It's the daisy flower, actually. And that could reference that maybe Daisy is in this movie. But what else does that reference? Maybe Daisy's Kingdom Sarasaland from Super Mario Land is actually in this movie. In fact, when we look at the world map in Peach's Castle, you get to actually see a landmass that's a complete desert with pyramids as well. So why would Daisy have a symbol up in the Mushroom Kingdom shop? Well, maybe it's because she's known as being the princess over there. Maybe that's what she's known for. Like, Peach and Daisy know each other, they're just neighboring rulers, and they have peace. And that's as simple as that, and maybe Mario's gonna have to go help Daisy in her kingdom as well over there. That would make a lot of sense. And then we have this guy. This is a toy that actually comes in a McDonald's Happy Meal that's referencing something within the Mario Brothers movie. Of course, there's only one thing that this actually looks anything like, and it's the Luma. Now, normally Lumas don't have mouths, they're just kind of two eyes, and they're just always happy because we we know how do we know they're happy actually something else is the top of their head doesn't just have that one point it's like two little points as if they have hair or something so maybe there's like different styles and versions of them kind of what we see in mario rabbit sparks of hope lots of the sparks are actually a lot different from one another so maybe they're giving them more personality which i don't mind i actually kind of prefer them to have a mouth so you can actually see when they're sad or there's something wrong so to me this clearly means that we should be able to see rosalina in this movie in some capacity which is super super exciting and with with that said, maybe there are a lot of Mario Galaxy references coming because it's one of the only Mario games that's not being referenced so far. So maybe we get to see the Comet Observatory, maybe there's something in space, or maybe at the very end of the movie there's a reference to Mario Galaxy, maybe hinting at the next movie. Something with Rosalina would be awesome. Now those are the only other things that I think so far has been hinted or leaked at. I'll definitely be making more videos if there's something else, but I just wanted to cover a couple of more franchises that could get kind of cameoed or hinted at within this movie. I mean, for one, I think the Mario Sports franchises could get something. I could definitely see them like taking a time in the middle of the movie to play baseball or soccer or tennis or having some reference to that like at the end of the movie they're all celebrating and playing. That would be pretty cool to see. I know it looks like maybe Mario Sunshine was hinted at with some of the fruit choices that they chose at the stand, but I want something more than that. I want like Piantas and Nokis and maybe locations like Isle Delfino somewhere on that map. I feel like I'm in Mario Odyssey speculation all over again when we thought Isle Delfino was going to be revealed. But give us Isle Delfino in like the second movie, and then like Mario goes there for vacation after all the stuff that he's did in the first movie, and then he goes to take a break, gets locked up, gets framed, and then boom, Bowser Jr. gets revealed because that's when he's shown off. This is perfect. Maybe they could throw some of the RPG action in there, maybe some Paper Mario references, or maybe even Mario and Luigi. They could have the shrooms invade the Mushroom Kingdom. Tell me how freaking cool that would be. Okay, but honestly, that would be a movie for the future because then Bowser would have to team up with them. I mean, even Bowser's Inside Story would be a great future movie. I'm thinking beyond this movie already. I need to relax. I'm getting too excited. But yeah, I think there's a ton of spinoffs that they can pull from, like even Mario Party and other characters like Wario and Waluigi coming in there. Um, but I've already made a video talking about the characters that could show up so if you want to check that out link in the description down below and thank you so much for tuning in what other cameos and easter eggs from other mario games and other nintendo properties would you like to see let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for tuning in make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things mario brothers movie and nintendo in general and like always i'll see you all in the next one see you guys